Hello there, cuties. Welcome to Daily Dose. Um, it is now 98.7% sure that I will be going to France in September. So, booyah. Um, I just finished eating dinner. I had lots and lots of edamame. <laughs> I love edamame. It's delicious and healthy. Um, but it makes your lips a little... Because there's lots of salt. My lips feel a little weird right now. They look a lot redder than usual. <laughs> um, today, I have done a lot of sewing and remaking. Well, the, the past few days, I mean, if you're on my Tumblr, if you follow me on Tumblr, you will have seen most of what I remade, including this shirt. This is my Konnichiwa Bitches shirt that I actually wore for my college graduation. <laughs> Instead of, like, a nice dress, I wore this shirt. Um... So I was really excited about going to Japan. I was going to Japan back then. Um, but I recut this so it's a lot nicer, I think. And uh, I made, I re-hemmed a skirt that I used to have for an old costume. It was a really, really long purple shiny skirt. And I re-hemmed it. And I have only one more sewing job to do, and that's to make a skirt out of this space material. I don't know if I have enough, though. I might not have enough. Oh, I have enough. I probably have enough, but do I want to make it tonight is the question. Um, tomorrow I'm having a very long Skype call with the French family that I've been talking to because they're getting the au pair contract in order because they have to get that filled out and stamped and stuff and send it to me so that I can go to the embassy in America with that. I'm going to have to get a lot of things translated. I have to write a letter of motivation. So I might do that tonight instead of uh, do the skirt. Um, I have to do a health certificate and I already set up my, done my doctor's appointment for that to say that I'm healthy. Uh, despite what hateful comments uh, I get on YouTube, I am actually healthy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I recently got some Hey fatty comments on some older videos and it's just like at least have a point okay if you're going to comment in a hateful manner at least have a point there was no point to those comments ma'am sir no that one was a girl who did it um <clears throat> oh yeah so for those of you who wanted to cut shirts like I do I used some designs and I've altered some designs not all of them from this book 99 ways to cut, sew, trim, and tie your t-shirt. And uh, this was a gift from my friends. They were actually uh, supposed to send me this in a large box while I was living in Japan, but they never got to sending that box. So all the food they had collected went bad in it. Um, but this was a book, so it was okay. Um, and a couple other things, but I was using that for some base ideas. I didn't follow all the rules they did, um, because a lot of the shirts that they have for remaking are female shirts, not guy shirts. And a lot of the shirts that I owned were unisex or guy shirts because large sizes. So, anyway, um, that's why not every single one of those works for a shirt like the ones that I had. And I had to alter some. But, yeah, if you, if you were curious about t-shirt remaking, that's what I've done so far. And, uh... I'm super tired now because I've been working on this stuff all day. So I could, I could possibly get both the letter done and the, sh the skirt done if I was really motivated. But I don't feel motivated anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 98.7, and I, it's going to be 98.7 or under. It's not going to be 100% until I have confirmed of a visa and a plane ticket. So that's when it's going to be 100%. But I can say that I'm pretty well decided on, on France and not Ireland. I have to tell the Iron, Irish couple that I have to say no to them. But I will be recommending my dear friend who is also going to do this or looking into doing this. So if you were looking into doing this as well and you could join me in Europe <laughs> um, or anywhere else in the world too. You don't have to join me but you could do all pairs at a lot of places. You could go to Australia, New Zealand. Um, there was one for Japan I applied for but I never heard back from them. Um... As I said before, probably in an older video. But if 
you wanted to look at it, I used All Pair World, so All Pair Dash World dot net. Please dot net. Um, you can Google it, and uh, it's a free service unless you do premium, but you don't really need to do premium membership for if you're going to be an au pair. It's mostly for host parents uh, or host families. Uh, yeah. So if you want, I would be happy to help you with a profile because obviously what I did worked. I got a lot of replies. Um, yeah, but if you were done with school and wanted to get away for a little bit, just kind of take it easy before settling down on a full-time job, au pairing is a thing you can do, and that's kind of where I'm at. It's just I'm doing it to get more experience with stuff and travel more. And yeah, it, I think it's I think it's gonna be a good good year for it. Hopefully, I don't want to like jinx it or anything, but. It seems like it could be fun and enjoyable and rewarding. So yeah, um, I think that's all I have today. Yeah, question of the day. Oh yeah, as uh, as I still, I'm I'm pretty soon gonna start writing scripts because I need to do that because it's getting to the end of June. Oops. Uh, writing some scripts for July. So whatever Japanese topics you would like, come July and I will be doing those for you. So. Leave those in the comments below. And that's all I have. I don't know. This has been a little video. So I'm going to go now. Bye!